Well, this experiment is part of a two-section learning where we will display the behavior of a bullet being shot from a gun. We study a simple ballistic equations and we determine the trajectory of a bullet. First, we need to calculate the speed of a bullet and secondary, we will define the curve run by the bullet. What we need to do is to prepare the material made of a box, a wire, a gun and a bullet. First we end the box by means of the wire and we make a hole in the box and we meter the length of the wire, the weight of the box and the weight of the bullet. We use simple scale for the bullets having three together because they are very light and then also for the, with the same scale we meter the weight of the box. And the box needed to be bored because for the sake of the experiment the bullet needs to enter exactly inside the box as it displayed in the picture. We start the experiment which consists of a slow motion video and uh, we shoot the bullet to the box. The bullet is trapped in the hole and uh, practically the box swings. It is a ballistic pendulum. We can meter the maximum angle of the swing by uh, taking the photogram from the video, which is now in this case 8.64 degrees. We have metered the length of the pendulum, which is from here to here 80 centimeters. Then we know the mass of the box, 49 grams, the mass of the bullet, 1 gram. And uh, by means of this simple formula, length times 1 minus cosine theta, being theta the angle metered right now, we can estimate the maximum height difference of the pendulum. And uh, this high is giving the velocity. Thanks to the energy conservation law, the velocity of the mass of the pendulum is square root 2 times gravity factor times elevation h. With the above numbers, we get 0 0.40 meter per second. And thanks to the conservation of the impulse, the velocity of the bullet being shot is given by the velocity of the pendulum times the ratio of the masses of the pendulum plus the bullet and the bullet, actually 50 times. So 20 meter per second is the speed of the bullet being shot. Make now some uh, analytics and we calculate the trajectory of the bullet by using uh, the motion equations. The equations are given by the second dynamic law force equals mass times acceleration and uh, um, this equation is a vectorial, so we need two components along y and x axis. And they are written like m y two points equals minus mg, which is a gravity force opposite to y axis. And for the projection along x, mx two points equals zero. 
we assume there is no any other force rather than gravity, so no wire resistance, for, for example. And uh, for uh, solving the above equations, we need any initial conditions. So for time zero, x and y are zero, because it's our choice to have the origin of the reference when the shot is leaving the gun, and then speed along x is velocity zero times cosine beta being beta the angle of the shot versus horizontal axis and the component of the velocity along y axis is given by the same modulus v zero times sin beta the modulus we have calculated in the slide before thanks to the experiment the solution of the uh, motion equations are given by the two uh, functions here y of time equals minus g t square half plus velocity y zero times t x of time equals velocity x zero times t those are the parametric equations of the bullet motion depending upon time if we eliminate the variable time among the two equations and we replace t we get um, the trajectory equation which is a function of y and x and we recognize this is a parabola and because it is a parabola we can determine easily the maximum height which is given by the first derivative of y for x equals zero and we can also get the range which is the crossing position of the function putting y equals zero and uh, if we solve we can find these two formulas maximum equals 2 over g bx zero times v y zero and the high v y zero square over 2g we need to use the two relations found here for the next experiment thanks for joining